If only you had watched this video sooner, you would already have known how to use the third conditional. English lessons. Let's talk about the third conditional. The third conditional is used to describe an imaginary past event. We often use it for regrets or wishes in the past. So I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened to me recently. And then afterwards, I'll show you how we can use the third conditional to talk about it. I woke up a little bit late on the day of a very important exam. Luckily, I wasn't very late, so I just had to rush a bit in the morning, and in the end, I managed to leave the house on time. When I got to the school, I took my seat in the exam room, and the examiner asked to see my passport for ID. I checked in my bag, and the passport wasn't there. Oh no. Luckily, the examiner recognized me, because the exam was at my school. So they said I could take the exam anyway, but with my driving license as ID. I thought everything was okay, but at the end of the exam, the big boss came to see me, and said they could only accept my exam if I gave them my passport on the same day. So I had no choice but to cycle all the way back to my apartment to look for the passport. I got there and I searched everywhere, but I couldn't find it. And then I thought of something. I went back to my bag and I looked in a little secret pocket inside and the passport had been there the whole time. So then I just had to cycle all the way back to school and show the examiners my passport so that finally they would accept the exam. So this is something that I regret, and I can use the third conditional to talk about it. For example, I could say, if I hadn't woken up late, I wouldn't have had to rush in the morning. That's a regret. But I can also use it for positive things that happened, like, if the examiner hadn't recognized me, I wouldn't have been allowed to do the exam. In both of these situations, we're using the same structure. We use if, and then the past perfect. So that's the subject, had, and then the past participle. And then in the conditional clause, you have would have and the past participle. So subject, would have, past participle. You can switch these two clauses round if you want to. For example, I wouldn't have been allowed to do the exam if the examiner hadn't recognized me. If you want to make a regret stronger, you can add the word only after if. For example, if only I had checked my bag properly, I would have found my passport. If only tells you that this is something I really regret. A similar structure that we can use to talk about regrets is wish plus past perfect. For example, I wish I had taken the bus. And then you can add a consequence. I wish I had taken the bus because then I wouldn't have been so tired at the end of the day. So these are three structures you can use to talk about imaginary situations in the past. The third conditional, if only, and wish. If only you had watched this video sooner, you would already have known how to use the third conditional. <laughs>